Why well, are excess deaths so high in Ireland? Let's take a look at the official stats. On Friday, the Central Statistics Office released the latest birth and death data for Ireland. For quarter one of 2024, Ireland suffered 9,564 deaths, which was 500 more than average. While death rates are rising, birth rates are dropping. In Q1, there were 13,482 births registered in Ireland, which was 600 fewer than in 2023 for the same period, and continues a trend of low birth rates. The total fertility rate for Ireland is now down to 1.5. In order for a nation to naturally replace its population, the fertility rate needs to be 2.1 meaning the only way Ireland can sustain or grow its population now is through immigration. More on that later. Looking at total deaths by year in Ireland, you can see that in 2020 there were 31,900 deaths. This was on a par with the 31,500 average we saw in 2018 and 2019. Strange given that we were supposedly living through a deadly pandemic. The COVID-19 vaccine rollout began on the 29th of December 2020, bear that in mind. It was not until 2021 that Ireland experienced a significant jump in mortality, with over 2,500 excess deaths that year. Similar to what we saw in Scotland, New Zealand and Australia, Ireland would also go on to experience record mortality levels in 2022, with over 3,200 excess deaths a 10% increase on average. A further 3,100 excess deaths occurred in 2023 and Ireland continues to suffer extra deaths in 2024. In total, we have now seen over 10,000 excess deaths since January 2021. This is in spite of the COVID-19 vaccines having been given to over 90% of Ireland's adult population and a series of lockdown restrictions having been forced onto the Irish population during the pandemic. This begs the question, did these implementations help or worsen the mortality rates in Ireland? There has of course been a counter argument that deaths have increased only because the population of Ireland has increased. In reality however, the population has been fairly steady, with any increase being driven by younger immigrants and not by an ageing population. There has been a significant increase in immigration into Ireland over recent years. In 2023, Ireland reported a net migration of 77,600, which enables the population to increase in spite of the falling birth rates and excess deaths amongst the elderly. There was a total migration of 141,000 people into Ireland in 2023, of which over 81,000 were of non-European descent. So in summary, Ireland has increasing death rates, falling birth rates, increasing immigration rates, the majority of whom from non-European descent. Thanks for watching guys, have a pint on me and please share this video.